Asian GSL style bracket. I'm sure you're all familiar with how that works. Two chances, two slip ups, and you're out. P250 for Nork. Twist with a Molotov. So not operating with a lot here. Mainly Kevlar prioritized from NIP. They send the bomb in towards the box holes. They send Nork towards Ivy. And those early footsteps have been heard. The rotation has been called. And now Nork gets a chance at a one-on-one. -on -one. Remember the smoke they were throwing from here? I wonder if we see that again. They can smoke uh, inner Z from IV. And oh. He has got the precision. Has young Nork. Well, will they stay 2 2? That's the question. Oh, oh wow. Right. Hampus with a very long range double clock headshot. And they're going in up. That's a good and important frag from Nexa. He doesn't get to catch the bomb planter, but he does at least confirm that the bomb is on B. A three on three. Twist. Going to get pushed on from the higher elevation. Nexa's missing his shots. Twist trying to play with fire here. Nork's working on the flank, and it's so dank. Goodbye, Kenny. Oh. Goodbye, Kenny. And now Twist getting pressured. Plopsky found Hunter. Nexa can win this. He just needs to find a little escape. A nice move to find Twist, but hunted down and Nork getting a triple kill on the pistol. Continuing to run away with it. Yeah, and we did highlight him as one of the players to look out for, and I'm glad to see him continuing that. If he can be the superstar for NIP, they definitely need one player to stand out head and shoulders above the rest, and shots like this mean that could become more and more likely. Now, just to break this one down, NIP used a lot of misdirection here. So they made footsteps towards the box holes at the start of the round. To see teams going for uh, early bailing on pistols is standard. That drew the rotation from Yard to put them in a 3-2 split. Not getting the kill, opened the gap. Hampus weaseled his way out middle. Was able to find impact Hello. himself. Nova shotgun into pop dog. I'll be honest, not something I've seen every day. I wonder if they'll even show a leg to him here. Not somewhere you want to be going against the low buys, and so far they're sending nukes out towards Ivy. Twister's limp to smoke forward, and that's going to allow them to obscure the vision of Jax. He will be set up in a crossfire with Kenny, who's currently at the old bomb train. Four players at yard right now. So as soon as these smokes dissipate from main and Ivy, looks like they want to push in for some information. If Hampus goes down, that's an AK for Nico or Hunter. Don't give them an AK, Hampus. Let me tell you. God, cross that placement couldn't have been better. Nico did not have to adjust at all, and now he's working with an AK. Watch him shred with this. Yeah. Look how fast he's making his way towards Ivy as well. He can contribute now from Green Train. Uh, and IP are about to get locked in the hurt locker. Look at that nade. Ouch. Nico does manage to find another. Plopsky lucky to be alive. He's operating on his last lifeline. G2 making a strong case for a second round force by win. Nork does go down to the Genny S or I was about to call it an orb. It felt like one. Just that scout. And it's a 2v2, so make no mistake. Res has done enough to at least make it competitive, but... Nexa only had to knock Plopsky off his toes oh. and another quick consecutive headshot puts an AK into Nexa's hands and G2 winning that second round force. Damn. NIP's momentum is going to get stopped dead. They actually respond with a force in kind. It will be Deagles and Kevlar vests. I wonder how many of these rounds the threat as the coach watches and, and goes somebody like Hampus taking liberties as an in-game leader where maybe Lecro wouldn't have done so. I, I think the threat had a better handle on the team when it was. Uh, Lecro because he could control more of their gameplay. But to be fair, they played like bitches in certain situations. So yeah. I'm kind of glad to see Hampus inspiring a little bit of aggression because they do have strong individuals. But when he gives up deaths like that, they pick up the AK and they find a second. It does look silly. But maybe that will come with refinement the more time he gets playing at this level. Remember, he was picked up just earlier in the year. And G2, well... They'll have to battle back against NIP's force bite. Deals for all five. Utility for Rez. And well, Hunter will even get a lick of damage onto the aforementioned Rez. He needs to be careful. He cannot go down. Any plan that they had completely relies on his utility, which is now being thrown on out. All towards pop. That's interesting. So they're not trying to use it to open up yard, just to try and keep a couple of players busy. Ivy has been spotted. Pop Dog is known. And main is where Nico is trained. That's quite the duo to be having defending Pop and Main, Nico and Hunter. Jesus. Oh, they got their crossfires ironed out. 
I imagine morale very high into this round after converting the second. Ooh, you are working on the tiniest margins, Rez. Oh, and there's a very clean double. The first two Franks Janks contributes, and it only cost him about eight bullets. If you're going to talk about the three aimers on this team, and that's going to be Nika, Hunter, and Jax, they are all first bullet accuracy nuts. Like, yeah. they are so good, so sharp with the AK and the Deagle. Oh, oh. okay. Wait um, a second. Um, uh, help. Now, this has gone terribly. There is 10 seconds. If somehow Kenny could deny that plant, he can't. Twist oh has pushed God. the pressure, and NIP, after just waiting around, get a f surge of frags. Nex is making it very clear where he's coming from. He does pick up a kit. He could nade Rez down even lower, but doesn't have to move. And they've got to nade themselves. Ouch, get out of there now. Okay, wow. I can't believe that's that's how it goes down. Uh, I have no idea how that even unfolded. They must have been some bangers of shots. I was singing the praises of Jax, Hunter, and Nico. He and really then wobbles his second... hips, doesn't he, when he walks? Yeah, well, he's been doing the squats, mate. Clearly. There's some junk in that trunk. <laughs> You're carrying around a lot. Look, he's got a vest on. He's a got sticky a tape to keep kick. the knife on the thigh. Yeah. How is that, that attached? That sure's heavy. Well, we're going to get to the future, Alex. There'll be technology where uh, things, they just get these. Maybe he's magnetized. Do uh, you remember yes. Universal Soldiers? I think I remember some guy with a, a Guinness World Record for the most magnetic man. That was oh, pretty, yeah? I mean, that was pretty impressive. Was he that could... just by being pierced? No, I think he genuinely for some reason, exuded a, a, a small magnetic field and could stick spoons to his forehead and stuff. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't like the coolest thing, but when you're eight, it's kind of cool to read about. Yeah. The Guinness Book of World Records used to be a fun thing. Now, I, it's just... Honestly, I saw a tweet today of someone being celebrated as the fastest to decorate a Christmas tree, and I was just... Yeah, I'm tuned out. Yeah. Jax has got a great deeg shot. Go on. Plopsky finished the job neatly. He has opened up the Ivy Avenue. Next, we'll have to tuck in on red. Oh, they smoked a bomb here. Look at the backtracks access they've got. Nico trying to address it. He's getting a lot of damage, and from behind, Hello. Kenny can collect. Nico, fi oh, 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 that's awkward. <laughs> well, Twist, what have you got for us, mate? Nico is going to finish the job eventually. But the bomb's down in her. Maybe the round has still got some twists. And Hampus does turn onto Hunter. Res with some info here. There's two coming from his point of view. He evades as they leap out, and one has completely ignored him. Now a chance for Rez, but Nexa does control it, and now with only four HP, Hampus shouldn't oh. and doesn't, albeit by a Nat's wing. Nico down to one on that duel. The CG2 level things up. So we have got a very close series to start us off. It's back and forth, inseparable, these two. Well, that plant means that NIP will buy again, so maybe this can continue forward. Kenny will have enough for an AWP, and as we go into round five, I think we'll actually see a gun round. So instead of the Deagles and the SMGs, you might see rifles for all 10 members. That was a little bit orky right there as Nico does finish him off, but another impact round as I got the fan cams again. If you want to join them, iem.gg slash fan cam. What are you supposed to be? Is that potato with a crown on underground? Didn't make sense. Potato King. Yeah. And we do actually have all five. Well, hold up. North on and Deagle. I spoke too soon. Jax has an org. It's a good map for it. And there's a headshot. Mm. Rez just takes down Nico sleeping. What was he expecting to happen there? Perhaps just not expecting that early pop presence but to be punished so precisely. Well, operating with a lot of utility is NIP here. Truckloads, three smokes, three Molotovs, bunch of flashes. And Stu still have to get past Kenny's AWP and Jax's AUG. And they've actually gamble stacked towards the B bomb site. So might be looking for some aggression here. Hunter and Nexo close towards the low ramp. Kenny now grabs the kill as they come out pop. Can he get any more? Oh, that's a signature Kenny shot. He just couldn't hit it this time. He leaps into the crossfire of twist we have four members for this after plan and they know that pop dogs a possibility two members coming from it could be the element of surprise they need jack's backtracks maybe it is just containment unless they get offered up a kill here it could just be g2 going for a save yeah i mean we we, we we talked about the fact that nip managing to get the bomb down even let them have a chance into this round and now look it's it's 
continue with the trading of the blows. It was started with an NIP oh. round. G2 win one, NIP win one, G2, and back and forth. We are now on five swaps as NIP will respond with one of their own. Now, this kind of gameplay eventually breaks the CTs. Oh, that breaks the CTs right there. Hampus, you absolute genius. Holy moly, I was looking at you, Chad. <laughs> Completely missed it. I see Kenny on 1500. Absolute oh, massacre. Yikes. They were saving their weapons in pop and he leaps down into the heavens. It all started in pop as well. Rez takes the head off of Nico. Oh dear. Let me see this again. Maybe too late in the replay. No, he gets it. Look at that. Oh, neither of them watching the flank. Not they were. expecting it. I mean, all. Hunter was staring <laughs> up at Pop Dog for so long. Oh, I'd be giggling too if I'm threat. That's a great one to pull away right Frustrated there. Frustrated in a push. We all see it. Great flash though will deter Nico, so he doesn't get to get anything too free. Oh, dissuaded by a single smoke there. Hampus will think better of pushing this. And at least they know it's a light investment as the nade, it goes shy a bit too deep, up and over twist. We'll take down Hunter and there's an entry for NIP. They might be the first to break surf. Looks that way. Nexus push has cost him his life. But it is only Nico holding in up. Surely they tidy this one up. Yeah. I'd certainly assume so. Here comes Nork with the bot. Wait, what? Okay, he's upper. I was looking on the mini-map. It looked like he was about to walk into main. That would have really sketched me out. So Kenny, the bomb and an orb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Still Ivy presence, and that's something Jax can't ignore. It's his responsibility. They know where the org is now. Nico! Oops. When do you peek? Whose responsibility is high ramp? That's the real question. Everybody's just running on pass, so Nico could grab a couple from the high ramp here as they're planting. Oh, this is such a good denial of the bomb. They're actually going to check it. I can't believe they've checked it. They confirm he's there. Oh, flub the nade. He's getting flanked. Does recover an AK-47. How fast is that flank? He's so low. You'd expect Twister's pre-fire to be enough. And that is a problem solved. Dig themselves out of trouble. NIP do break serve. After trading blows back and forth, it will be four to the ninjas, two to the G2 Samurai. A battle of ninjas versus samurai. There's a whole... YouTube video to be made there. I swear there was an old show. I couldn't tell you what it was called, but it was like all of the questions you used to ask your parents and they, thank you, ultimate fighter, he says in my ear. Okay. But basically... If you wanted to see a ninja versus you know, samurai. Exactly. Okay. They were like, who would win in a fight? You know when you go like, a lion and a shark, but they did it with old warriors. Sounds like a Joe Rogan episode. It was the kind of thing that you can watch and, you know, absolutely turn your brain off. Just mung out. Yeah, but it's worth it. I recommend it. Ultimate warrior. I, had, I don't know how I saw that. Oh, oh, oh! oh. A taste of Hampus' own medicine. Yikes. Kenny with a couple of shots going awry there. G2 still will have to go for just a light investment in round number seven. But uh, I wouldn't say that NIP are out of the woods just yet. I am very, very concerned to see how these rounds unfold. Here it is, one, two, and the third when he faces him. So it was just to get his attention. Yeah, look at me when I'm talking to you, young man. So we can see... P250s for Hunter and Nexa. Just a bit loose for Jackson. Well, Kenny's already dead, so there's a Deagle on the floor. You want that one, Hunter? I bet you do. He's picked it up. Upgraded from the P250. For, so from the P shooter to the people shooter. I <laughs> like it. Well played. Didn't know where you were going with that. Uh, neither did I. No, you got there. You dug yourself out of the hole, and that's pretty much our entire job. Start a sentence and... Hopefully, you can finish it. Lucky I've dug a lot of holes quite literally in my time. Yeah, you have. You're a hole digger. <gasps> that crossfire nearly caught Flopsky off guard. Fortunately, he's got his teammates necessary around him. We won't even see a single frag in favor of G2 unless Nico's Deagle fills the feed. Five for the ninjas in pajamas. And this is T-side train as well. I mean, it's, this is not by any stretch of the imagination new territory for the ninjas in pajamas. They are well-versed. Watch this. I'm about to go fishing. You ready for this? Go on. Uh, Rushley, you there? Hello? Would you like to change your prediction? Um, nope. All right. 
I nope. didn't catch anything here today, Alex, unfortunately. You were fishing for a NIP pivot? I was trying Rush? to see how much of a flip-flopper he was. Yeah. I was trying to really see if I could get him to be a turn. Let's give it right 10 more now. rounds. Oh, ah. actually, I'm staying. Yeah, Shut I'm going to stay with this prediction, actually. Yeah, this is looking pretty good from Nico, really. He could do it, guys. He oh, could definitely do it. 4v1. Sound Before like me casting CS in 2014. <laughs> <laughs> they could win any situation. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, just coming in and just having to slowly have my brain accept that a lot of these rounds will be 5v3 saves and you... Counter-Strike's a different beast. I certainly like it when there's a motivation to go for the rounds. We've seen plenty of re those intense retakes over our time. Hey, God damn it, Astralis. Why'd you have to ruin everything? So Showing it turns everybody. out, guys, that actually, if you want to play proper CS, you only go for the rounds, you know you've got a higher percentage chance of winning. Yeah. So, well, the Danes, they're responsible for that. Thanks, so if Astralis. you guys want to point fingers of why we have so many save rounds, you know who to message. Not us. We want the crazy Counter-Strike. I want to be going, oh, as Alex is getting some mad play-by-play. -play and Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Maybe it'll happen one day, and maybe one day we'll all be back in the arenas and jumping and shouting like a bunch of clowns together while these, some of the best Counter-Strike players in the world, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But they're still getting it done right here, and Malik, he's told you. spitting some bars right there. Somebody, I told you, bro. I'd go to war for that, man. He is a persuasive gentleman, and I have spoken to him uh, from time to time, and I love to hear the way that he looks at the game and looks at life. Here's some of the highlights from the first quarter of the game. We'll try and move away from the first half of the first half. That terminology confuses even us at the best of yeah. times. And away we go. We're leaving spawn orpers out and fast from NIP. This is quick. Oh, oh. stack nades onto bomb train. Hi. One way to start with the first blood. $600, very well spent. NIP given the edge by GG.bet and Kenny is going to be peeking into Nork here left. Oh. He jumps for the info, that's... You get it? I assume so. It does look like he wouldn't have seen anything, unless he's got rocket legs. Yeah, he has got rocket legs. He still doesn't... Oh, he does. Kenny, very nice gaming. He's a video game player, but I'll have, you know, a professional one. And that oh, was a chance. Now, they've got the deep smoke, and they've definitely got the pressure B. Hoping that would force a rotate. Red does circle strafe and confirms pop presence. So it's just relentless in their Ivy presence. They don't let the CTs call it clear, regardless of what's happening anywhere else on the map. Oh. Twist. Tried to thread the needle, cost him his life. There's a tight line you can hold, up, almost an org exclusive. Well, Twist went down, but Hampus is still... Yeah, but Jax is here to check it, you'd think. Is he? Hampus finds it. Backtrack's open. Bomb. Look at Kenny. Way. Yeah, he doesn't know where to go. He has the AWP. This is so bad for him. He has to worry about the B push as well as the flank through CT. And Plopsky's taking all the space. So Rose can walk in with the bomb. Nobody's holding because of Hampus's frag. That single frag has got him to this point. And look at Kenny. He's so paranoid now. He's got to check all his corners. He will check this, but... Oh, he's got the pre-fire under the truck. Gets to see the info before the fight is given his way. Gives him an advantage now, both coming from Pop Dog area. Wait, is Hampus going to flank them again? Imagine. I don't hate it. <laughs> They're saving, okay. Yeah, but imagine if Hampus got them again in pop if they were saving there. <laughs> they are backing away a bit further this time. And Hampus is a bit more disconnected. So we're not going to see the denial of the CT economy, but we are going to be seeing some nice NIP six rounds boasted on the T side. This is good stuff out of the ninjas. We've seen a bit of diversity in their play. They're not afraid to take risks, even though some of those risks came back to bite them within the earlier stages of this map right here. Hamp is forcing the issue towards Ivy, even though Twist went down. The fact that he still took that space, I love that. And this is Nico just getting absolutely punished. You will not be going bomb train anymore, Nico. You will be going around, and that's a frustrating way to get blown up. And that reaction right there, well, that says a lot. Kenny did his best, and, and this was nice, working on this peak. Not going to be uh, out orbed and you wouldn't be expecting that. When he goes back and watches it, it's going to be very frustrating, but maybe a little maneuver he can pick on up and steal as Kenny to the AWP here. What can you do? I mean, everything a pro CS team does technically is shut, shuts down an orb, right? Flashing for their teammates, pushing as a unit, smoking before you push. Everything is, it makes orping harder. So when you are at the professional degree with the big green gun, it's more about just finding cheap tricks. And they certainly don't necessarily come cheap. You have to be Kenny S to find them yourself and to apply your trade. Do they check it? 
They do. And that's a huge double from Jax. He's practically handed them the round on a silver platter. The only caveat would be if they got two frags on inner now. And that's where they're headed. Nexa does have the support of Kenny S. Unfortunately, that's an AWP in the feed. Easy. Should be easy. Nork's only found one. And that was Plopsky's demise. So the round likely sealed. He's going to flirt with a bit more aggression. There's four CTs staring at him. And now I've seen Simple do crazy things. I won't write Nork out just yet. He's got 45 seconds. And it's Kenny S's peak that is rewarded with bloodshed. Do they want the double AWP for the, the uh, CT side? They'd rather take the AKs, can't blame them. And you actually opened the door to uh, my trap card there, Alex. I forgot about this point, but I think it's very interesting to note how the secondary AWPing duties will start to manifest in this G2 roster. Now, when Amanex not playing, it makes a lot of sense for Nico to do it, but it also depends on his positions. Because yeah. if he's playing some of Jax's roles and Jax is playing some of Amanex positions, then Jax is actually the one who's set up to be doing the secondary AWPing, but I really, really doubt we see Jackie Boy do that. So it's curious to know if they ever want to bring out the double ops if Nico does it, but Hampus, with a bit of information off the back of those flashes, knows players are up close and personal to Ebox, even is able to get on out to Olaf. Have they spotted this? Yeah, I mean, it looked like Nico on Ebox would have at least called it. And he is working on closing that flank. Jax is climbing up the train to hunt him down as well. They really want to find him. He needs help from his teammates. He needs it now. Hampus might be a freebie. Hunted down by Nico, gets it for free. Hunter is so low. You'd think that's Twist's frag any day of the week. See the barrel. Yeah. Totem drop. Twist does take him down. Oh, double spotted on green train. Hello, info. A boatload of information. And NIP, after losing Hampus, have already grabbed control. Oh, oh. taken from them. Nico's on for the ace. A double spray down on the pot players. That's just a masterful control of the AK-47. Maybe Kenny's angle is perfect. Seems to be. And Nork even spotted on his jump across, so they've completely solved this one. Nico's ace is denied by his teammate Orpa. But four for G2, six for NIP. Map three, game two. Okay, so they found weaknesses towards Ivy and splitting that inner bomb site. This went so well for Nico. Yeah, you're lucky to get the boost. You're thinking to yourself, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> yeah, staggered, but. Gets them all. Uh, could, potentially could have been that uh, double peek onto the green train that they were looking for because of that info. That That's you what happens when you, when you don't stack nade Nico at the start of the round. Yeah, he'll uh, clobber you in the head with four lovely kills. Try and take that AK away. Let me give you the hot tip. If you're up against Nico, don't let him hold onto that bad boy. It looks like NIP, they're going to change their tack. Not so aggressive towards Yar. This time they're going to go hit B. And over there right now is Kenny in tow with Nexa. Nexa on the flatbed area and Kenny looking towards high ramp. The rotation, it won't be quick. No one is towards Z whatsoever. True. They're going to do U-Tilt. Into the explode. Who's going to be the spearhead of this assault? Lots of U-Tilt. Lots of it. Nexa and Kenny are going to be positioned and denied. Flashed off the line. Hunter, however, does catch one on the flank. And now Nico over the top of the smoke. His spray nearly gets res. It's enough. Nexus wild bullets now can finish the job. Hampus just takes a wild duel. And it's enabled him to find Nexa trying to walk up on an oil train. I can't believe Kenny caught that. And now oh, against an Orpa. And Kenny just doesn't find Twist's retreat. Now the freedom for Twist to relocate. And the pressure for Kenny is to defuse. Got a kit. Doesn't have a smoke, but does have a flashbang. A flash and a hold? What's his plan? A fake. Twist oh, calls his bluff. And the time's so much more on his side now. There's almost no way for Kenny to win this. Yeah. Twist, a phenomenal clutch, pulls the seventh across the line. And that was, despite the best efforts, every member of G2, bar Jax, had a frag there. Just wasn't enough to pull it across the line. And now NIP. Still sketchy. I mean, they're in the 3.7. It's like AKs or Galils with Util. Yeah, so a weird spot to be right now for both teams. But this is a big clutch from Twist. It's getting away after a spray like that onto Jackson, then avoiding Kenny so he could peek into the defuse. It's, it was scary stuff. Kenny didn't hunt him on the retreat. Was convinced he could have stuck around on upper and understandably so. And it's a dance party on the fan cams. You can join them at iem.gg slash fan cam. Let us see your beautiful faces and beautiful rooms. Someone tidied up before he joined the fan cam. I see you. 
bonus points, gold stars. Now, we just want to do a little bit of a check-in. We obviously highlighted two players after our first map who were performing well. Nork was one of them. He only has five kills to his name, actually. The least for NIP on train so far. Operating with a Deagle again. On the other side for G2, we highlighted Hunter. He had a great vertigo as well, but right now only two kills to his name. Yet to find comfort here on map number three. If he comes alive now in the later throws of the first half, it looks like G2 might be able to get themselves a decent bag. Staring down the barrel of losing the half, though, NIP just need one more to net up that eight. And Hunter back into pop. Nico over towards main. Very standard setup. We've been seeing this throughout. Jax with the task of dealing with Ivy. And Kenny, well, he's a quick rotation over towards the B bomb site. You can see him and Nexa having to lock that down as Plopsky with some sick moves above Pop Dog. Just toying with Hunter, making his life very, very difficult. Wouldn't want to have an M4A1 for that duel, personally. No, just that slower fire rate against that AK. No, thank you. Making sure he has the line up right. This will put pressure on Hunter a lot. They actually just shot the spot. <laughs> and he does the response of his own smoke. So now he does have the advantage on that drop. And I can't believe Plopsky's still playing with fire on that ladder. Even lads a tag there. So Hunter down to 87. It's nothing to write home about, but he's kept on notice. And they know that he must still be in that pop dog based off of those shots. They're going to totem drop. I never see this work. Can you do it with the M4A? Whoop! <laughs> Found like Plopsky was firing mid-air there. Hampus does take Nico down with a perfect flash from Nork. You could see he was just hoping on that green train not to have been spotted. Dink exchange. It's not enough. Galil does get the better of Jackson. Now just two CTs, 4G2. Oh, Nexus got a good lineup here. He finds the first. Nork can't plant unless Twist gets the frag. Nork finds it. That's oh. the round. NIP do take eight. Courtesy of Nork's double deeg and even Robin salt into the wound. You can see that G2 will not be able to present a full buy into round 13. This could spiral. Just as we highlight both those individuals, Nork finds impact while Hunter gets pantsed in pop. And that was the key to NIP's success over towards Yard. They're going to take their second tactical timeout here. Great shot there by Plopsky, able to deny any impact of Hunter whatsoever. And there you go, the crisp, clean kills of Nork on the Deagle. And they've won the half now, NIP. Have they done enough? That's the question. Or how many more do they want? Because as you mentioned, the money is broken and G2 have to talk through whatever options they have. There are no slouches on the Deagles. So of course, we're going to see them invest into a couple. N Nico with one, Jax with another. Kenny's purchased on in, Hunter and Nex are yet to buy, and they get 2,900 in the, as the loss bonus in the next round. And if we are going to see the double orbs at any point in the game, maybe it'll be soon. Nico will have enough to buy one next round. Kenny, though, might have to be dropped it. So let's wait and see what round 13 has in store before I start looking too far forward to round 14, because away we go over towards the box holes very quickly. Mac 10 this might be a quickness of pace straight down the low ramp for Plopsky. Yeah, he's got someone in mind here. And it was Nexa. Puts bullets into his mind. Now with the utility dropped, it's practically a confirmed round. It's absolute nightmare fuel. They smoke on top of it. You have to either go through it, flash it. Your smoke itself has gone too low. He can even one way around that if he wanted to. And the sound cue is there. They know Jax is headed back towards support and the Molotov even forcing him to go through it. They're trying to boost. Uh, what are you planning? You make a noise. Twist will stay every day of the week. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, wait, hold up. There's another kill. Yeah, he's All hit right. the shot. And now with Rez falling, it does get a little weird. And recovering the AK from CT Grasp is a big win. Plopsky pulling that one out of the cold dead hands of his squad. Now, Nock doesn't want to be caught losing the AWP on the retreat. There we go. AK stolen by Hunter. And he survives as well. So that's a big pickup. A very big pickup right there. Two rounds of play left in the first half. And G2 desperately need them. Another game that feels like it's running away from them. Getting flashbacks to Vertigo. That's where we kick this series off. And NIP, fantastic work on their T side. So procedural on Vertigo looking hot to trot. Nice shot by Kenny. He was even being peppered when he hit that. So really big stuff. And some giggles from Plopsky here. As NIP, they should be smiling. But they can't take their foot off the gas just yet. Don't give G2 a chance to get back in it. That's what I'd be saying if I was threat right now. Jax has actually taken Pop Dog. They've moved Hunter out of that position. This is uh, normally where Jax would play. So yeah. I, I guess this is the viability they have.
interesting to see them having to change this up on the fly. But if things aren't working, you don't want to lose the match. You need to make some adjustments. And this yeah, you'd be kicking them. yourself if you did. And oh, Lobskies. I'll kick on myself anyway. Uh, calm down. Double kill and. That is an ambitious a bit of spray work. He catches Kenny, practically kills Nico. He's working with 20 HP. The bomb does need to be planted eventually. They've got 60 seconds to complete their mission. They left it safely in the toilets. Well, the shower, same thing. Shout out to my bros. Waffle Stompers, you know? Oh, don't do that, guys. They'll get stuck in the trap and then... Oof. Jack's catching another. Nort gone. So we do have an even keel, but it's Nico responsible for what I imagine will be a B hit. Look at twist location. So is Hampus going to try and win a 1v1 against Nico, or does twist wrap around? He is wrapping. It pins at this B bomb site so many times. It's such an awkward thing for Nico to deal with. Oh, he even spots Hampus and then gets shot on the side of the head. Uh, oh, God, the way NIP are playing this T side, the amount of deaths I've seen from G2 that frustrate me as, as someone that knows how it feels to, to, to play Counter-Strike and to lose duels like they have. It's very frustrating stuff. Just even the, the, the fact that Plopsky gets both of them on that inner push, they've just changed it up. They've just said, Hunter, look, man, you're struggling on pot. You want to try inner? Yeah, all right, let's, let's, let's do that. And then you just get walloped by this young Swede using that shadow as well to find and pinpoint his spray early in the smoke. This, that resembled more of their traditional setup as to how they would have played before Nico had joined the roster. Yeah. Uh, they normally have Hunter cheating over towards that B bomb site with Nexa early. So they, they went for something a little bit more traditional, but they were caught. And now NIP with the double digits. Can they get 11? That would be another absolutely smashing T half. Nexa kept on notice, has to drop the smoke. Pops, he doesn't care. Go on, son. Just the one from Nexa needed a double. Look at the smokes, the mollies. They're all just being thrown out to keep the CTs at bay. And there's just nothing for them to do. Another molly arrives. Another six seconds shaved off. You just have to accept it. Hampus has one as well. Lob it in, mate. He wouldn't dare. Aha. Hampus has got other plans, Chad. Of course he does. The flanking. The flanking. Rez so pushed up. He actually gets one. But I'm more excited about the fact that Hampus is about to make G2 punch a hole through their desk. He's caught one. He's about to re-molly it. Kenny's got no options available to him. This is just frustration. NIP are creating an absolute masterpiece on that T side. Salt for G2. Can they recover? It's four. The international squad, 11 for the Swedes.
four is all G2 could muster on the defense, and that's Train. Does mean that NIP's T side puts them at 11 coming into defense. My machine, I've got Sponge hanging out with me this evening to bring you the closing stages of the second series of the night. Malik prepares his troops, and it would have to be a real resurgence into this. Nex is going to have to start calling an almost flawless T side here. It all starts with a pistol. Need that momentum, need that shift, and we aren't going to be seeing any P250 action to my dismay. Just some four Kevlar vests and double flash smoke. Now look at Nico taking liberty straight out Olof, planning to... I don't know what he was planning, Alex, but he's going to reconsider. Oh, gee, now. Plopsky says no. Plopsky, he even peeks into Ivy. Okay, he will get caught out eventually, but it doesn't stop Rez from adding another to his list. Now Nexa spotted Hampus hunting. Yeah, that's a very convincing pistol round from the ninjas in pajamas. I thought Nico had really managed to get himself a good bit of control, and then 30 seconds later, he'd have appeared and been a nuisance, but Plopsky had other plans. I'd like to see it from his POV. Pl yeah, yeah, okay, Threat. <laughs> Red's not so sure. <laughs> He's not so sure at all. That's quite the reaction indeed. I love it. I love seeing people that watch Counter-Strike every day get blown away by yeah. Counter-Strike. Uh, when, when you're hitting shots like that, anybody's going to be impressed, and especially the coach. The coach is in there every day. Yeah. You think you'd be seeing those almost every prac session, but uh, all in all, G2 now without the plant, without many frags. Well, what do you even do? I, I think you just take the full save because if you go for the force and you lose, that's the game because you will have to take the save in the following already on the board. 14, you get into the gun round, you're down 14 to four with your first gun round. Ooh, that's an ugly place to be. As you can check out the scores on the doors, 14 apiece for Hampus and Plopsky, 12 apiece for Res and Twist. Down the bottom, Nork with 9 on the other side. It's Nico with 13, 12 for Kenny, 11 for Nexa, 9 for Jackson Hunter. He had a really rough go of it, only 4 kills for him. Did not like Pop Dog whatsoever. And we're back underway. It's just Do you be like Pop Dog? That's the real important question. Um, I can play it. Yeah. I wouldn't want to play it at this level. No. But like normal level, when yeah, there aren't can, totem I, drops and mollies in behind the windows. Well, and you, you know, you've played with me enough, right? We have to have the routine of nades oh. towards main to get us out. That's first and foremost. Yeah, Chad Birchall's routine. We need the first spawn from Z throwing the stop and sendry towards main, bouncing it off the wall, and the same throwing the flash of the similar lineup to contain that main push. And if we have a third man, a HE's perfect, because as they try and make their way into Olaf, that nade lands, <laughs> it slows them down, they get stuck in the Molotov, and maybe you get a free kill. So try that one at home. But speaking of things that we're going to try at home tonight, it's going to be five AK-47. Oh, yes. You, yes. me, Rush, Jay. We're not... Are you actually... Is this a false promise? 100% yeah. playing tonight. Oh, I'm so in for a Counter-Strike game. Cool. All right. Well, let's see how long this one can drag on for. I want an IP. I've got a matchmaking game. <laughs> They're looking like they've got a couple of matchmaking games after <laughs> this as well. 13 to 4 for any of our audio-only listeners. Okay, now... I assume that this push isn't going to have a stop, but it's MP9s and... Oh, the timing, no! Yeah, Hunter's maybe not ready for this. Yikes! He's not. Oh, and the pre-fire was not far off. Kenny has bailed them out of trouble. But with only the MP9, with this bonus round of sorts, they've managed to keep it level. Hampus. And they're kind of ignoring Ivy. Oh, Nork, oh. what have you gotten away with there? A late walk-up, practically casual. I think that nade met its mark. Oh, this gap. Yep. Because this is what I was thinking he was going to get up to on the pistol. Plopsky's not ready for this. None of them are. Oh, but Hampus just took a are little glance. Dude, honestly, they're getting so unlucky. Oh my God, at that He's range. long ranged him. I want to... <sighs> Sorry, what? I swear, Hampus truly just took a little look, like just just moving his mouse, then returning to Ivy, and it was enough for him to catch a glimpse of Nico. You know what he's probably done? He's probably turned from the pop flash that pops his Oh, imagine. Like this, this is insane. This has been such a horrible twist of fate. <laughs> twist can't believe he's nearly gotten away with a double there. It looks like he's a... This is what I'm saying. Look, he actually did just do a... I, uh, we didn't quite get to work out how, but yeah, he turned. Yeah, okay. Well, regardless, yeah. the fact that he then wins the next duel at range... Yikes! Things yeah. uh, for G. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Kenny and Nico, their rounds are basically over. Na 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 na. na. All right. <laughs> yeah, this is this is over. Uh, I do not see a way for G2 to get back into this matchup here today. The loser of this one will have to face North, who fell at the hands of Heroic. As our series that preceded this one. Yeah, actually, uh, 
seeing some good signs of life out of North. Oh. I actually think North can probably win. Yeah, I'd be worried. I was about to start planting seeds. Yeesh. Well, this is a massacre. Amos has made up for Mirage. 21 frags for him in this one. Yeah, I mean, he has that volatile style where he's going to take those non-coin toss round uh, chances, right? And we know how it looks when it works. It looks like he's one of the best in-game leaders to touch uh, Swedish Counter-Strike in some time. Yeah. And then when it doesn't, you end up with that Mirage performance, which did feel like, a, you know, he was almost a, a weight. I think it was 0 there. and 9 at yeah. one point. I remember we, we, we cast him as he got a quad kill, and he went from three kills to seven. That's right. Yeah, that was against the pistols as yeah, well. Yeah, on on, I think that was the second half. All right. Well, we're in the second half here of our final map of play. And as you can see, top right, we've gone the distance. And this one might be a quick affair, just like map number one. Smokes towards Yard. It's an all-in Hail Mary down pop. It's a fast out of play. Okay, let's see what you got for us, Rez. He's got the molly perfectly, the toes of Nico and his nays and bullets, everything. It's so reactionary and it's so quick. Plopsky, no slouch, twist peeks out. This one's done. G2, the samurai completely cut down to size and sent to the lower bracket by the ninjas in pajamas. Kenny caught by Hampus, it's done. Only 20 rounds of play on train. That is clinical and that's convincing. NIP staying in the 